<laughs> Look at this, Balrog Dragon. Ba <laughs> Look at this picture. Do you see that shit? <gasps> Sauron! Dude. Oh my god. What the hell? Elves against goblins this time. Should be favoring the yeah. Alban faction, right? Solas? Yeah, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, May is not going to enjoy himself a lot in this one, I think. Yeah. It's going to be a tough one for a uh, mission of X. He's going to use the key pads. Oh, that's something I didn't see for a long time. For scouting. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he want, he was afraid of a stable start or something, but Mustafa is an Alban player. He, he, he was playing elves a lot, also in the faction champion tournament we had a couple of months ago. And Mustafa likes to go for a double barracks with elves, you know? And he wanted yeah, spam archers yeah. and pikemen to keep them protected all the time. I mean, there's no point doing a stable start in this matchup because you're not going to achieve anything with it. Yeah. And, you know, he's not a player who's going for the stable most of the time. But we need to expect now Arvin. Because Mustafa is always getting Arvin on the field. Always. And yeah, gets her level 6. Good. And I want to see now the Arvin changes. Because Arvin got nerfed now. Her damage output with the flat against buildings. And we will see now potentially this time. Because normally with the flat she was easily able to one shot. A level 3 production build. Uh, a level 3 resource building. And a level 2 production building with one hit. Okay, Malone 3, Malone 3, Malone 3. Four Malone 3 is now under the control from the Alvin player. Spider Pit start. What do you think about Spider Pit start in this matchup? I don't think it's nice, though. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm not expecting a whole lot of damage from it. Yeah, because um, Archers are so strong creep. against Spiderlings. Spiderlings got... Uh... Building damage nerf too. Oh, he's going straight Spider Riders. Okay. Oh, okay. That's something different. But he's, he's going to get away with that too. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to creep with the Pikeman first. Yeah. I mean, one good thing about this matchup is most elves are never going to attack a goblin early on. Because if he does any sort of normal goblin cave start, then you won't just deal any damage to him. So you can do crazy stuff. Crawling, thanks for the follow. Uh, why does Solas think that lenses are bad against goblins? I, I don't think they are bad against goblins, but no, no. you are saying that you can't achieve too much with them. No, I mean a lenses start, stable start. That's not good. But lenses, but, of uh, course, not bad against goblin warriors. You can one-shot them yeah. in most situations. Uh, but I think this is just like a safer start, like a regular elven start. Uh, Malon 3, Malon 3, Barracks. And now he's going for the stable, actually. Right after. Yeah. That's a normal timing. Uh, spider Riders are almost out. Uh, let's see how much damage they will be able to deal. And also post-mortem for you. Thanks for the follow, appreciate that. Okay, the creep is gonna be secure. Two creeps now against zero. Yeah. I mean... I don't know what the goblin is hoping to achieve with this. This is very weird. I yeah. think as soon as he sees Spider Riders, he's gonna upgrade the stables and get some Linton Horse Archers. And they wreck spider riders. And yeah. Now he's gonna lose a ton of farms to this little attack here. Yeah, he has no counter to the spikemen. How can you deal with them? You have no goblin you have no goblins, you have nothing to deal with the pikemen. He's creeping the warglare in bow <laughs> mode with the spider riders. Uh. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> Major of X at least experimenting with different stuff. Keep bats for defense. Uh, Beaumont, of course, he can approach the pikemen, there is no way. What do you think about the nerf to the Miflons, that they are now able, that they are not longer able to get stealthed around the trees? So that's... Yeah, I think... I think it's better than keeping it, because it just leads to a lot of lame traps for Cav, right? That the other player can't really do anything against. Yeah. But I like the damage actually from the Spider Riders against the pikemen. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, three of them with cave bats. Now you can go for right. a trample and kill those units in no time. And we have Lindens, uh, we have no Rindel, uh, we have Rivendell Lancers, and we are getting more of them. And I believe that's not a very smart idea from Mustafa, because I believe Rivendells, nope. they lose against the Spider Riders, right? Yeah, they lose hard. Like, we're gonna see that now, I think. And I don't know why he's engaging in a 3v1 situation anyway. Yeah, look at that. Switch to Bombard, maybe, and shoot them a bit. Yeah, poison arrow volley. Oh, he's uh -huh. not going for it. Oh, he's going for it. Nice one. Nice damage dealt. 
Oh, oh, the archers are not protected. Mustafa is making a mistake once again, and he's gonna lose all these archers now. This is such a troll once again. He was having such a fantastic start into the game, but... Losing the lancers, going for more lancers now is pointless. If you go for the stable yeah. level too, like you said. I think he's saving for Glorfindel now. Knowing him, that's probably what he wants. Yeah, also makes a lot of sense in this matchup, right? Against this current situation at least. Yeah. Spider Riders, you can chase them down all the time with Glorfindel. And you can't stay group like this against Glorfindel. If you do that, you will lose them all in like 5 seconds. Oh, but look at this. Half troll pikeman? He's no goblin the troll. I mean, that's a very different goblin playstyle because normally we see goblins going, going actually for the goblins, but no, not Mace of X. He's actually getting Spider Riders fast and then half troll pikeman to creep the troll layer right after. I'm not convinced yet, but let's see. Let's see. Uh, Mustafa was just able to get the third creep. Nah, he was able to get four creeps so far. All the four. Warclans got actually creeped by Mustafa. And that's going to be the first creep for me, Shadow Facts, at the top right side. We have five power points almost collected for the Alvin player. 500 command points available on the other side. 450 command points available for me, Shadow Facts, and four power points collected after the Keith Bats. Yeah, and it's Glorfindel. And it's Glorfindel, indeed. A great counter to the Spider Riders. And a suicide with the Pikeman against the Troll to not feed the Spider Riders, which is okay, I guess. Well, maybe he gets to trap him. No, he's paying attention. Yeah. The Shadow Fax has to capture this money on the ground. And with the Lancers and uh, Glorfindel, he's gonna go for harassment. And we're gonna see the first two Goblin Keeps now. Why? <laughs> now, it's too, now, it's too, now it's too late, I guess. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or maybe we can save this level 2 battalion. Would be nice. Oh, no, he's not, he's not paying attention. Level 3, massive power spike, and he's already level 2. I'm also expecting from Mustafa very soon, Arvin. Is it possible yeah. to change the game loading screen so that players can see each other's faction when they choose fact when they choose random? Yeah, it's possible. It's possible, but it's uh, automatically enabled in the patch 2.02. Random revealed. But it's possible to also unreveal the random, just like in BFME 2 or BFME 1. He is finally going for Lindens. Tower is coming up for the, for the Alvin player. Mm, why not? Very early tower for defense. And he's going for the Lindens, indeed. It costs also 500 each. For the glory of Linden. And Glorfindel is going to chase down potentially. And what we have here, we have uh, Spider Pit level 2, Fissure level 1, two gob 3 Goblin Caves now for the Goblin play. He has also very early Barrow expansions. That's the reason why he has 625 command points. Uh, but 150 of these command points are actually coming from these two buildings, you know, attached to the fortress. Keith Bats. And he's not going for the Warchan, he's going for the Tainted Land. Oh, oh, oh be careful against Glorfindel, be careful, and Glorfindel has to be also careful. After all, Pikeman, after all, Pikeman are, oh, oh, they are doing God. so much damage to him. <laughs> Almost one shot it. I mean, that's a mistake you can't make. Yeah, and now he's forced to disengage. He has to wait, and Arvin it is, ladies and gentlemen. The famous hero from Mustafa, Arvin, the lady of uh, Loflorian. Oh, she's from Rivendell. She's from Rivendell, yeah, true, true. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> I think that would be a lot, of, a lot more interesting. We had a tournament a couple of months ago, Unrevealed Random Tournament, and it was... It's like gamble situation, you know? Because unlike in BFME 2, not, not every faction has a, has a scouting ability. In BFME 2, you have every faction can use something to scout. You know what I'm saying? But it's not possible in Rise of the Witch King. And when you scout against buffed units, it's kind of... It was not very good, to be honest. Okay. Uh, 750 command points available for goblins and 425 for elves. And actually, goblin players in the game, so does. Yeah, I don't know. Mustafa led him back, to be honest. Look, the Corsairs are dealing also damage to the buildings over time with the fire. Nice trampling coming. Glorfindel is hitting level 3. Arvin is almost level 2. She's level 2 now. His Atelas for the sustain for herself and also for Glorfindel when he's nearby. Is it gonna burn down? There's still fire. I don't think so, right? It's gonna disappear soon, I believe. 
I don't know, man. <laughs> it's gonna be close. I think it's going down. Oh no! It's a level two building too. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> nice. Corsars are very underrated. Very underrated. I would love to see them more also from Mordo faction from the Radin Palace level two, but we don't get to see them very often. Look at the mini map. I see only green. I mean, the uh. game isn't over yet. Mustafa can actually stall the game out, and he could also maybe save the Malone tree with the builder, right? With the, you know, when you get rid out of the fire, then you can actually yeah, save yeah. the building. Yes, he three lost. builders for some reason. Oh, really? I see. Wow, he has three builders. <laughs> <laughs> but none of them is working, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we have a massive Goblin army now. We have Troll Swordsman inside of the army, Spider Riders, Warchant is on cooldown, Tainted Line is on cooldown, and also Keypads is on cooldown. And the other hero, the third hero from the Alvin player, is going to be Hyde. So many, many heroes are actually being recruited now from the Alvin player. Many, yeah, many heroes. Look at the Corsars. I like the fact that he's hiding them in between the army, and that's what I would love to see also from Mordor. Imagine you make like a big army of orcs and Easterlings, and then you put some Corsars in between, you know? Sure. I trample them down. I don't know why he's not trampling them. Finally. Yeah. Oh, but this is gonna hurt him a lot. The well is going down too. I think this is good for the elves. Do you really think that? Because I see full command points for goblins now. This is gonna go exactly the same way as Liam versus um, Awe, which is the elf constantly gets experience from all of this, and the goblin only makes units. No heroes, no real late game insurance. Yeah. So I think the elf will snowball back from this. What do you think about uh, Gorkil the Goblin King as a hero? I think he's also very underrated. He's a must-have here. For sure. Yeah, it would be nice to get the Fear Resistant also with the Skull Totem against Haldir level 8. And I believe Haldir is going to get level 8 this game. Yeah. Arwen is almost level 4, two levels away from getting the Power Spike with the Flood, which is going to be still very good. And he has four Barrow expansions around the Fortress. That's why he has full command points, 1000. He's going for the Scavenger now, I like that. Because what other, what other choice do you have here? Uh, Vipen of Dunland Summon is going to be useless, and I believe Spider Lie, Spider Lie Summon is also going to be useless here, right? Yeah, I mean, there's not much left to kill, right? So. Yeah. And then you have Scavenger, which is going to be permanently passively active, so... Money, uh, money, money every time you kill stuff. After it's all, Pikeman, though, hitting the very hard. Oh. Arvin level, five, level 4 now, okay. The stable is going down, that means no more Lindens any soon for the Elven player. Glorfindel is level almost 5. Aldir is almost level 4. The Elven heroes are getting a lot of experience from this fight. And uh, Goblins are gonna send more and more units to keep up the pressure, but uh, I believe the Elven player is still in the game. Like, he didn't lose 100%. the game just yet. Yeah. The second barracks now coming up. Eventually, if he can afford it, he will also get uh, some Mirkwoods on the field later on. Okay, looks like he's leading to the in at the bottom left side with the troll. We also see trolls now on the field, and more of them are coming from the visual level too. What do you think about trolls in this in this current situation? Hmm. I mean, they are an additional thing that's annoying, but they're not hard to deal with. Like the elf is not gonna be like, oh damn, trolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. Yeah, because he has so much, uh, so many archers slash lindens. And heroes, so I believe the trolls, they cannot outrun, for example, Glorfindel, so you can always keep catching them all the time. Yeah. And every time you kill them, you get also a lot of experience, right? Yeah, there you go. I mean, what does the goblin gain from this attack? He kills one tree. I don't know how many power points that is, but not oh, a lot. Oh, look at this. But the... Levels on this heroes, level 5 high, yeah. uh, level five Glorfindel, level 5 Arvin, only one, even less than that, away from the Flood. And I believe Flood can be still very useful. Look at the layout. For sure. Like, you can at least, I mean, I, I think you can still kill, like, a uh, level 3 tunnel, right, with Flood? Level 3, I'm not sure, but 2 for sure. 
Okay, we will see anyway, I guess, in this game. The builder is getting bullied by the troll. We see many, many Malon trees being built next to each other. Look at the layout here. Just to be able to increase the command points because he needs that. He has 750 now, but he doesn't have too much money, trust me. You know what the problem is if you make as many um, borrow expansions as May is? Uh, you're not going to have any space for arrow towers on your fortress. So the Eagle Summon is going to be pretty big, I think. Oh yeah, true, true, true. And the Sparrow expansions are actually, they are very squishy. When you touch them, they get destroyed, you know? Yeah, yeah. Armory is coming up for me, Shadow Fax. Yeah, should have made that two minutes ago, I think. That's the only way that you can play this matchup with just units is uh, early upgrades for the half-trolls. Yeah. Iron, thanks for the follow, appreciate that. Hope you're gonna enjoy your stay, it means a lot. We will defend the Elven lands. Parax level 2 for the Mirkwoods. Mirkwood, the first one, is gonna be on the field very soon. Arvin is half a level away from flat, and also Halvir is all about to get we leadership unlocked very soon. Uh, leadership is not a big thing when cave pads is available, but when cave pads are on cooldown, leadership double buffed Mirkwoods, they're gonna hit like a truck. Like, they're gonna kill all your spiderlings too. Yeah. Okay. Or oh, he might get level doing? 6 here, yeah? by killing those Corsairs almost, right? Closer. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, um, Mutsos3, uh, Mutsos Senpai. Thank you so much. Oh, careful, Glorfindel. Oh, Arvin is diving into deep too, but it's fine, it's fine. I mean, she has Atelas, right? So she's fine. And also heal from the True. spellbook is available, double heal. Haldir is level almost 5, like half a level is needed for that, and I think it's pretty much the same time all the heroes from the album player Mustafa are gonna get a huge power spike. I mean, uh, level 10 is also a thing from Glorfindel. Starlight I think is also very nice. Yeah, is it level 10? I think it's 8, right? Level 10 I see. I oh, know it's 10. 10. Yeah, yeah, right. Golden Arrow is 8. Golden Arrow is 8. And he has almost the Eagle Summon too. Watch his power points, he has 13 power points collected. Yeah, how are you going to use that? Against the army or fortress? I mean, I think you need to use it against the army, right? Probably. And I don't see you can deal with the army without eagles. You it's a bad fight to how take. Much this causes. Look how many units he has. Like, this is crazy. Imagine an arrow volley there. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go for arrow volley now. I would go for the arrow volley. Would you not go for arrow volley here? Mm, no, I don't think so. Oh, nope. yes, everything up. Down. Spider Eyes with Fire or upgrades too. Cloudbreak is gonna be his choice. Okay. Alder got killed, Maybe. by the way, in this fight. Imagine. Level 6 Arvin now. Flood. flood, 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 flood. Flood that. I think you should use it. Flood that. Flood, 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 flood. Flood the goblin. Flood it. She's going, she's going. Ham. No, 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 she's not. But all the Spider Eyes are gone. Flood. Level 7 Arvin now. Use flat. I guess he wants to save it. You will lose Arvin. I don't know. <clears throat> no, no, he's fine, he's fine. But, if, you know, I think the best strategy with Arvin, to be honest, is like suicide mission. You know, you use yeah. flat, you die, and then you recruit her again. I think that's the best thing you can do. Because I believe, and I'm actually pretty sure about that, <clears throat> if you lose her and you revive her, she's gonna be way faster on the field than if you use the flat and wait for the cooldown. Yeah. Especially with the fortress upgrade, the I don't know what it's called, but uh, it makes the reviving cost and time shorter. I think. Okay, so let's gonna we're gonna see now Arvin for the first time flat. I think in the in the beta with the changes. And look his power points. He was already able to get eight power points from this fight all alone after mm -hmm. the after the cloud break. What are these mercs doing? Oh, 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 they're gonna die. They're gonna die. All the ground stands, on... will they be tanky enough? No. 14 you get for killing them too. From Scavenger. Look at this, what is how it? much money he was There's getting. Flood. Okay, did kill a level 3 tunnel. Oh, I, level 3? I didn't see, man. Oh. Yeah. But she was able to kill the level 3 tunnel, okay. Yeah. Is he gonna suicide her now? Yeah, just suicide her. Yeah, man, that's yeah. so lame. <laughs> Perfect situation, just let, let her die and revive her. Does he have money to revive her? No, he doesn't have the money just yet. How much does he even cost when you revive her? Like 800 if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. 
so it's actually not very expensive. I mean, she's a very cheap hero generally. The, uh, the Lindens, you need to be careful against Spider Riders. It's a 2v1 situation, they have also fire. I think the massive power spike here, which would be also game winning for the Alvin player, would be Silver Tones on this Lindens, you know? Yeah, I think right now he's just fishing for power points so he can summon the Eagles. Yeah. Will he go for the Eagles or will he try to save for the 25? Hmm. I think Eagles because they uh, also earn power points themselves. I think it's something you have to pick. Yeah, to be able to get at least some of this level 3 tunnels and units. Mirkuts are doing a nice job, but they need to be having some protection against the Spider Riders. They are looking for a chance to trample them down. Uh, Glorfindel is tanky. He is also using 15. Wind Rider. You can also use Wind Rider and Blade of Purity at the same time, no? Um, nope, we he can't use Blade of Purity on the horse anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he's gonna die. Him. Or Spider Riders can maybe kill him. He almost has heal back. No, he's fine. He's Why fine. isn't he? He's fine. He has enough power points now for the Eagles, though, if he wants to. But he can also save for the twenty-five. He's what six power, nine power points away from that. Well, I, I guess it's level not six. super necessary right now. Darkness. Move. That's really weird. He knows he has cloud break. Yeah, darkness is kind of. I don't know about that. Maybe he wants to use darkness after the cloud break. Does it work this way? Ah, uh, yeah. But one thing to know about this matchup: if you use sun flare, it also cancels darkness. Okay, I will. I will try to catch Arvin. Don't worry, guys. I got you. Look at the damage, though. So I'm, I'm assuming Major Ofex is gonna try to use uh, the Darkness after the second use of the Cloud Break. Watcher yeah, I mean, would be maybe to. also not bad, but I think Watcher, it's not worth it to go for Watcher because he doesn't have too many units on the field anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Builder down. Builder down. Mist is available, 17 power points. It looks like he is saving for the 25. And Glorfindel right. is moving now from the bottom side with Lancers. Um, he has Armory, by the way. Level 3 is incoming for the Silver Tones. This level 3 tunnel is going down. That's gonna hurt him. I mean... You have money, but if you lose this level 3 tunnels left and right, you're gonna eventually be out of money. Now we're gonna see Arvin. Watch. Oh, Armory. Really? Armory is down one-shotted. <clears throat> with Flood. Was a level 3 Armory too, and now just lose her. <laughs> you know? Do that over and over. I'm telling you, this is like next level strategy. That's gonna make you win the game eventually. Because the revive time is pretty short. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, yeah, but that doesn't matter. He's gonna just suicide her, which is absolutely fine, and then do her do that once again. Meanwhile, I think we might lose the fight up here. Okay, there are some midwoods inside the tower though, which are dealing a lot of damage and yeah, fire Glorfindel is coming into the back line. He has to be careful about that with the Spider Riders. Mist is going to be used, but it looks like the Goblin player did want to disengage from this fight. Uh, Glorfindel can maybe use the Wind... Uh, he's using the Wind Rider. That's going to make him... Give him the chance to... He's going to be the fastest hero this way, by the way, I believe. Hmm. In the game. Yeah. We come from Mirkwood. We come from Mirkwood. Uh, we are getting more Mirkwoods on the field. The Stable... He was not rebuilding the Stable, by the way. He has triple barracks on the field right now. He's going to just go for the Mirkwoods. But I would love to see Lindens with Silver Tones here. I yeah, believe they are too. also very strong and super underrated with Silver Tones. Yeah, they are. They are unkillable, really, if you pay attention. Yeah. You can kill those uh, Spider Riders in like seconds, right? Yeah. Tunnel is down. Are we gonna maybe a Sun Flare on all the Spider Riders? That would be also not bad, right? He has almost a power point there. Like half a power yeah. point away from this. I think the play is to somehow force the spider riders to stand in the goblin base maybe by chasing Glorfindel or something and then use sun flare use now. I think when now they're in the middle of the oh, building oh. <laughs> well, or like that that works oh, too oh he killed all of them dude the goblin player dropping down to 270, 270 command points from 900 the level 3 tunnel has been taken down too <laughs> that was one of the be most beautiful sun flares I have seen nice one and all of them were upgraded too. He lost so much money. Look his money now, Solas. Do you see that? He has not much money left anymore. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a game-winning 
ability there. That's game winning ability there. Exactly. Arvin is back in the back in the business too. You know what? What time it is? It's time for the flood. <laughs> and he can combine it with. Uh, I mean, he could combine it with Cloudbreak now, but there's no army left to use it on. So. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna just try to kill a level three tunnel, but I believe yeah, there is one level three tunnel in the front and one in the back. Uh, he's just gonna use now the flats to one shot this one. No big deal. It was damaged anyway. But even if he wouldn't be, I mean, even if the building wouldn't be damaged, she would still be able to one shot. Let's lose her again. He's going for Drogov once again, right? Really? But Drogov, I believe, mm. is a horrible idea against elves in this yeah. stage of the game. With Silver Tone arrows, Mirkwoods are gonna kill him in a second. Good cloud break, preventing the trample. Using the darkness right after. But doesn't cancel the fear effect from the cloud break. Still gives some leadership though. I mean a spell. It makes them strong makes them stronger. Or kill the Goblin King is level 3 now, level 4 is gonna unlock his leadership. That's the only possible way Gob oh, Arvin is down, but it's not a big deal. That's the only possible way goblins can get actually leadership, you know? Yep. So very underrated hero. With darkness, war chant, and gore kill, you can make your units really strong. And super hard scaling too. Being uh, being able to summon three fire drakes at level 10 is actually quite massive. Good tramples. Okay, beautiful trample. Mustafa playing lazy behind this because I'm pretty sure he thought the game was already over, but he's not making units or anything. And now look at the power points from the goblin player, he has 25. Oh my god, is this gonna swing back now? Potentially. The thing is, when you go for the summon, when you go for Balrog, but he has no units. If he would have units on the field uh, with silver tones, Balrog would die in a second though. Yeah. Balrog is so weak against silver tones. And he needs to use oh, Eagle Summon. Look how many power yeah. points he has. He has Eagle, Cloud Break, Sun Flare. By the time the Goblin player has just unlocked the <laughs> Balrog Summon. Oh, he's going for the Vision but with the Guard Kill, the Goblin King, to be able to summon them. Oh, he's gonna use Tainted Land, right? And into the Balrog. There we go. Does he have the Silver Tone upgrade on the Fortress? That buildings are able to shoot with Silver Tones? No. Nope, he doesn't. Uh, Hyder is back in the business. But this Balrog is gonna hurt. Look at the Smirkwoods now when they get the chance to attack Balrog guys. With yeah. Silver Tones, watch this. He's gonna use Rallying Call on them. Ah, oh, he missed. He missed the Mirkwoods, right? And he's going into the melee range about that. I don't know about that. Arvin, he can also use Flat. Flat got nerfed oh, yeah. against Balrog, but I think it's still very effective. We're gonna see now how effective it is going to be. Oh, he's missing uh -huh. it. He missed oh. the Flat. Let, <laughs> let him kill you at least. It wasn't us. Also, me Shadow Fax was able to capture the one ring at the bottom left side of the map. What's horizon? Balrog is just dancing around the rosy. Has to be careful with the heroes. Uh, Balrog is gonna still one shot your Arvin if I'm not mistaken. With, but he's not doing anything with, with Balrog. You see the Milkwood's damage, guys? That's crazy, right? That's only one Milkwood. Imagine if you have like three. The Balrog is gone. And they didn't even have a buff. Look, they are sending. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have, yeah, exactly. They were not even, they no leadership, no buff. Imagine with double buff, you know. Very strong. Haldir was not even around to spot them with additional damage leadership. The builder is getting in safety, barely running for his life. And the one ring is gonna be brought to the fortress. And we have another hero, no, it's a builder. Glorfinder is level 8. And actually, Glorfinder is also really close to the level 10. Yeah, Starlight is on POP too, right? In a situation like this, you have global stun. I mean, like yeah. it's like it's like the golden arrow, heal, and darkness, pretty much at the same time, right? Uh, cloud break, you mean? Yeah, cloud break. I mean, golden arrow is also like cloud break. So yeah, so it's like you can also heal your allies, and also uh, you can buff the surrounding allied units with a spell. Oh yeah, right. Which can stack with Warch and uh, with Rallying Call and leadership from Haldir, for example. That means Mirkwoods with triple buff. <laughs> I think they're gonna just watch at them and they're gonna die, you know, the enemy units. Look at them. And he's really close to that. Almost level 9. Uh, Arvin didn't get killed, so he needs to wait for the flat, which has 4 minutes cooldown. And this game isn't over yet. 
Oh, Glorfindel needs to be careful. Oh, yeah. There yeah. We go. When the pikemen are touching you, you are gone. Almost level 9. Oh, Maybe flood? get dismounted. Nah. Heal. Nice. I'll tell us. Haldir? Warchant? I don't know about that. I think Haldir is going down. Yeah. Press S. <laughs> no, no. Okay. But don't be clamped against Glorfindel, I'm telling you. When this guy is hitting you, when you are clamped, you can... Oh, what he's doing with the Spider Riders? Losing so much of them. Fox, Eitna, thanks for the follow, appreciate that. Hope you're gonna enjoy your stay. Elrond is also on the appeals now from the Elven player. I mean, this trio, I think, is dazzling, you know? I think when you have Arvin, and uh, the daddy of Arvin, Elrond, and also, uh, say it, Glorfindel, this trio is gonna be deadly once Elrond is hitting level 5. The restoration, imagine that. You use uh, <laughs> Flood and Starlight, then you use restoration and you can use Flood and Starlight again. And then you have like multiple heals also, right? You have uh, Elrond Atelas, Arvin Atelas. Restoration is gonna reset that. Oh, what is that? That's a Wildman of Dunland Summon, okay. Interesting. I mean, at this point of the game, you can actually just use it, you know? Doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he traps the army, but. That army is tier 1, not even Mirkwood in there. Yeah. Look at the army size from the uh, Goblin player, though. Does he have Arrow Volley? Go for the Arrow Volley, maybe. What do you think? Or would yeah. you say for the yeah. Floods? I agree. Wait for Cloud Break, then combine it. Yeah. Cloud Break, Arrow Volley can actually kill everything here in a second. Of course, it's gonna delay your 25, but you will be in a safe spot, I guess, you know? Oh, look how laggy it is, because the, there are so many units on the fields now. Level 3 Malone 3 is gonna be bursted down. So, uh, the Spider Riders are doing a nice job. Geek Pets oh, are getting targeted by the Mirk Woods. In, um, does he have Mirk Woods? No, he has normal archers, because he lost the Barracks level 2, right? Yeah, yeah, he has he lost, lost the Barracks level 2. He is not able to make any Mirk Woods just yet. He has one in the tower, but that's it. That's it, right? Yeah. And he is also not in the right spot where, where the opponent is attacking from, so... Cloud Break is available now. Oh, and Flood too. Uh, it looks like Mustafa wants to save for the for the Flood. Cloud Break, there we go. Is Flood available? Yes, it is. Nice. So, use it against um, Spider Riders, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna... There we go. Nice one. Power points are rising to the sky. But he was able to survive with the Spider Riders. Mirkwoods are doing a nice job. Power points are rising. 10 power points away from the flood. And I believe uh, by the time he has flood, he will have almost a Sunflare back up too, right? Yeah. The Sunflare flood combination can actually. You, you can even use Eagles and finish off the Fortress of the Goblin player with powers all alone, I guess. And yeah, maybe even go for Ents, because I don't really think he needs more destructive power, power point-wise. I think he just needs Siege. Yeah. Uh, all day Nossi. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Okay, level almost 9. Like, he's less than a quarter away from that. It is likely. Haldir is back. Look how many Malon, uh, how many Lammermills he has. Oh, Arvin yeah. is kind of suicide, I guess, right? <laughs> suicide. How many power points uh, Goblin players? Nine. Um, Watcher might be a possibility with 15. What do you think? Mm, yeah, I think it's as you said. I think it's not worth it on this type of army. It's just Lorien archers. Yeah. If anything, the Watcher is worth it to uh, try and knock an Elven hero into your army. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. And the Elven player can't even afford to go for the Barracks level 2 at this point, because he has no money. Going for the level 1 stable and building up another Barracks. Maybe get, maybe get Lindens on the field. Because the upgrade for the uh, stable level 2 only gonna cost you 200. Giants also on the fields now from the Fissure level 3, and look at the production buildings from 
the goblin player. He might even try to see for Sauron, but what do you think about Sauron in this matchup? Well... He has the one ring, you know? I don't know. I mean, he has the income, I guess. Yeah, he has, and, but uh, he's, he's even command points kept because now he can't make anything else. He just needs to save money. He can't recruit true. any more units right now. I'm not oh, sure. Spider Rider is doing a nice job. Arvin is still on the field. Flat is still loading. And um, oh, Elrond can't get any experience. He's still level one. Gorkil is trapped. He's dying. I'll kill him. There we go. Oh, and also Glorfindel got the last hit. No, it was Heidi. Okay, my bad. My bad, Heidi. Which is even better because he's almost getting level 8 now. Beautiful trample into the backline by the Spider Riders. Very well done here from Major of X. He has to sustain in his economy, unlike the Alvin player. He doesn't have that much money. And look at the money from the Goblin player. He has almost 5,000. And Sauron costs you 10. So getting that money is not going to be hard for Goblin, trust me. Um, how much damage does Sunflare deal to Sauron? Do you know that, Sauron? Uh, do you know that Solas? <laughs> Almost nothing. Almost nothing, okay. Yeah. So, um, how you want to deal with the Sauron, with Silvertones, I guess, right? Yeah, just kite. I mean, he can't reach you, really, until you're in your base. Yeah, he's very slow. So, uh, apart from those tramples, which is basically just Mustafa's fault for not having pikes in position, you can see the goblin achieves absolutely nothing in those army versus army fights. Yeah. So just feeding the heroes at this point. He's going for the watcher. Watcher can be actually now used at the bottom left side. Yeah, I guess he has to. It's a nice group of units. Uh Arvin in about 15 seconds flat. Watcher, Balrog is reloading. On the other side, Sunflare is gonna be available way sooner. It's almost back up, and I think it's gonna be almost the same time with the flat. Because he has 24 power points collected. By the time he has the flat, he will have definitely Sunflare available. And then you can hmm. use, I think when you use it prop, uh, nicely with the flat, you can look at the layout. You can kill all these fissures, right? Easily. Um, not sure. The level 3 one can, might actually be able to survive, right? Yeah. But uh, honestly, I would even consider saving it for the Balrog. So use it defensively, you mean? Balrog, summon and yeah. use flat to kill him? Yeah, because if the elf loses his production once again, that's he can't afford to remake it, I think. Yeah. Well, the Vacha is being used it. now. Beautiful, nice one. He has also had elven armor purchase, but that doesn't change anything, and they are going to go down. Uh, Elrond is almost level 3. Once again, level 5. A massive power spike with the restoration, healing, and uh, resetting the cooldown of the power point, uh, of the spells oh. of your uh, Nervia allied heroes. He's going to eat a Sunflare, isn't he? Probably he's going to use it, yeah? yeah there, we go. there we go. Boom. Once again. Deja vu. <laughs> Spider Riders are dying, burning. One shot it. Oh, Haldir is going to die to the poison, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so low. Use heal. Does he have heal? No, he has oh, no he's heal. fine. He's fine, he's fine. Run, run. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Haldir, Haldir, Haldir. Aggressive stance, don't! <laughs> what the hell, what the hell? And you do aggressive stance, <laughs> it's going to happen all the time. Automatically charged. He has now 25 power points collected. Look at how many towers does uh, Major of X have at the top right side. Um, yeah, he might even get Sauron because look his money. Or was he making more units? I'm not sure. But he Can't might tell. also just buying. He might be. Oh, the flat? Uh, okay, we're, we're going for it. I don't know about that. I, th I think this Mount Glorfin Leia is doing it so he can use Blade of Purity. Eagles can also be used yeah, eagles, for that fortress. Use eagles, then. <clears throat> use eagles, then. Come on. Let's watch if the goblin gets back 10k. Maybe he did have Sauron on the way. Yeah, we will see that. But why is he not building towers? The goblin towers are coming up so fast. Yeah. When you A build them, they are up out. in like 5 seconds, I believe, right? And the fortress is yes. down. No, he didn't have Sauron on the way. No, he didn't have Sauron. Bluff. He has actually not even the money he needs for rebuilding the, the fortress. He's gonna get it though, eventually. But there was still a nice move there, killing the fortress with the help of the flood. But I think that this this is not gonna win him the game. However, that's gonna delay the Balrog summon a lot. Yeah, that's the big part about this. Yeah. 
Balrog summon is not gonna be available any soon. He needs to waste now. He needs to wait until he has 4,000. He needs to wait until the Fortress is back up. And during all this time, the powers from the Elven player are reloading. Eagle's doing a nice job. Power Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, look at this. <laughs> look how look at the top side of the map solar, top right side. <laughs> I see five towers. I mean, that that looks like it's strong, but uh, the Elven heroes kill that no problem. The fortress is now four thousand. When you don't have fortress anymore, you can buy it for four thousand. Yeah. Was a change a couple of patches ago. You have my sword. But it depends, of course, how many fortresses you want to buy. When you have a fortress and you want to buy the second one, it's gonna cost you five. And if you have two fortresses, I believe it's gonna cost you even six thousand. So it's adaptive, which is a really great change. Yes. Ants are going to war and it's three bit, ladies and gentlemen. We offer bows from Lorien. I think he's gonna try to save for the ants now the ants now, right? Yeah, what else is there really to go for now? I would still consider Arrow Wallet though. True. Glorfindel almost level 10, so you could combine it with that. Yeah, you have a lot of possibilities. Cloud break, this, this golden arrow. Is held your back? Yeah, back don't see him. half a level away from golden arrow. Ah, uh, there he is, right. Tribut now, that's gonna... Look, all the towers, they don't matter anything now. Watch that. <laughs> what can they do against that? Shooting from down, down. Look at this. One by one, one by one, they're gonna fall into the darkness. Spider Eyes with uh, the one ring. But there is no, no fortress to bring it to. But he has money now. I don't know why he's waiting for. He has now enough money yeah. to buy the fortress. He's making, he's making it now. Watch the builder. Come, but it's, it cost him 5,000? The ants are going to war. Yeah, it says 5,000. But why? I thought it's changed to 4,000 now. Yeah, same. I don't know. Wash. I'm actually confused. I, was, I could swear that it's now 4,000, but apparently it's 5,000 because I saw him just investing 5,000. So, sorry guys for the misinformation in this case. Oh, yeah, I went for Arrow Wall. He totally missed it, though. Yeah, I totally missed that. I, well, you, when you have this many combo, combo combo potentials, you don't need to rush it down, I guess. Yeah, maybe. New change, yeah. Okay, so level almost 10 Glorfindel. And how many times do we actually see that, guys? Not many, many times. It's over. The time I went looking for the Fortress, I think. Has come. Oh yeah, she's looking for the fortress. There's can she kill it though? Use it on that. I mean, he can always cancel it when she when he sees the flat incoming, right? So yeah. Oh, he's gonna level use three it on tunnel, the maybe. Look at that. Ah, no, he's not. <laughs> he's gonna kill the level three tunnel. Though, watch this now, guys. The builder yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, the builder too. <laughs> the builder is getting well washed away. Also, look at the builder. My wounds are deep. My wounds are deep. She's gonna die. Debit is also alive. Let me take a look into the heroes from the Alvin player beside Arvin. Uh, level almost 10. Look at this. One hit is needed. Now, do it. Nice. Level 10 unlock for Glorfindel, guys. Starlight is available. Massive power spike once again. Where is Elrond? Did he lose Elrond? I don't see heroes, yep. though. I mean, I see only Glorfindel and Tribute. I thought he had held here also. Did he die? Yeah. I think he died once again somewhere. I can't see oh. him on the field anymore. Maybe he's in the forest. I don't I don't see him. Also on the map. No, it's only Glorfindel and Tribute here, side by side. The siege begins. Towers are not able to reach Tribute, but he is able to reach the towers, no big deal. He's even able to reach beyond that. Into the backline. Kill the towers first. And uh, we have Gorkil the Goblin King, right? Gorkil the Goblin King is on the field. Yeah, indeed. Elven heroes now are gonna be unmatched though. Like, the Wombo Combo potential you have now. The Starlight stun, the Global stun. Cloud Break, you have so many stunning abilities. And I, I didn't see Major of X using one time Skull Totem just yet. True. You can spam that thing. It doesn't even have a long cooldown, right? There we go. Oh, that's the Starlight. I don't know that why works. he's not using Glorfindel now to kill the spider riders though. Yeah. 
Starlight, as you can see, Norbia Light has become healed. Just like a heal, you have increased damage and armor for the Norbia Light units. And then you have, uh, that's gonna stun with every, uh, that's gonna stack with everything like buffs or leadership or whatsoever. And it stuns enemy units, like it's a uh, three things in one spell. Kalyptra, uh, thanks for the follow, appreciate that. Arvin is back in the business, Haldir is back in the business. Arvin has flood of course available as she's back in Middle Earth. Cloudbreak, Cloudbreak is gonna be available soon, and it has to be really annoying to deal with, right? You are getting stunned, after a couple of seconds you get stunned again, after a couple of seconds you get stunned again. I mean, he, he used his totem now, at least he realizes that yeah. that's the problem. How hard is it to kill the totem though? Not very hard, right? Uh, a single arrow kills it, like anything kills it. Yeah. When you, when you kill it, you also lose the fear resistance, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Glorfindel! Glorfindel, oh, don't do that! Oh, he's running it down. Oh, Balrog in the north. Okay, he, she used flat against. Do you see that she used flat against the level three product against the level three armory, but she wasn't able to kill it. Yeah, I think that's because the first time she used it, she used it on from the side, and because that building is a little bit longer sideways. I think it was level two also first the, time, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was level two. Yeah. Okay, use Balrog offensively. Kill the enemy units, but look at the Mirkwood's damage against the Balrog. Pew, 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 pew. Cloud break. To win the fight in the middle of the map, but Arvin is gone and Glorfindel is gone. Elrond is back in the business, level 4. The build has to be careful. Look at the damage this Mirkwood's are dealing. That's a breath fire against the tower. Doesn't deal too much damage instantly, it deals damage over, over time with the fire. Oh, save the Mercs, save them. Save them. That's the only Mirkwood he has, right? Yeah. All the barracks are still only level 1. And the Alban player has not that much money. His command points kept indeed. And actually, how it sounds crazy, I know, but this game isn't over yet. And I think the Goblin player has still a chance of winning this one. Because now he oh has to summon God. Dragon too. Watch this. Not the peasants. Oh, are you using <laughs> the summon dragon on peasants? I mean, he can reposition, I guess, right? And the Summon Dragon is the best power point ability when it comes to kill the enemy buildings. And now Balrog mm -hmm. and Summon Dragon side by side. Look at this. Look but at this. <laughs> it has to be no said the Balrog hasn't achieved much though. And now yeah. the Dragon is hopefully microed. He needs yeah. to do something. He has a lot of potential here. There is no threat that can actually take him down. What? He's gonna oh, he's... use him defensively once again. Uh... I mean, that's that's awesome though that you can actually reposition for the entire map just like that. It's, I sure. like it. But he's not achieving anything. Both twenty fivers. What did they do? They yeah. killed a few tier one units in the tower. They killed the tower and uh, Mirkwood one battalion. That's it. That's Meanwhile, it. did you see the end summon in the north? It yeah. cleared it entirely. Cleared, cleared all the towers. All the towers are gone. The dragon is gonna be gone soon. He's repositioning. Look, he's <laughs> locking down the ends. To the <laughs> so funny when the ends are getting knocked back like this. The end is gonna mm, be taken cool. down. Okay, so we have almost really close this time. And we have restoration too, guys. Uh oh. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna get terrible for him now. That's gonna be now fiesta. Trust me, because what restoration does, in just ca just in case some of you guys coming from YouTube or something don't know. It's gonna reset everything's ability, right? So flat is gonna be used, restoration is gonna make it available again. That counts also with the starlight of Glorfindel, counts with the golden arrow from Haldir. So watch now, she can use here to kill. She wanna make sure that he's, she's able to hit both of the buildings at the, same uh, at the same time. That's a nice positioning for that. Nice, nah, she's only able to hit that one level yeah. three tunnel, but it's gone. So now her daddy, aka Elrond, can just use <laughs> restoration when she's next to him, and bam, she has flat again. So she doesn't need to die all the time anymore, you know? Maybe wait for a golden arrow as well, so that you can restore both at the same time. And you can also wait for the starlight, because Glorfindel is also back in the business, top right side. Oh yeah. But it looks like you want to lose her once again. Oh, okay, the thing is that uh, now Gorkil the Goblin King is also level 7. Yeah, we're getting there. Imagine him getting level 10. I mean, would that matter so much? Because I believe the fire drakes are gonna die very fast against arrows. Unfortunately, yeah. 
And also, we're about to have both 25ers back. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sunflare and uh, Flood at pretty much the same time. Sunflare is going to be available sooner. Oh, Eagle oh, Allies no. was used actually defensively. What do you think about that? Mm, not a huge fan, but I guess mm. he had nothing else. There's the yeah. Golden Arrow. That's the Golden Arrow. That is Glorfindel. Not sure. He's at the bottom side. No, he's not at the bottom side. That's a Wildman of Zanlin right. summon on top of the enemy unit. Skull Totem. No, that's a Tainted Land, sorry. But the Giant is doing a nice job though against units. That's another Golden Arrow, by the way. Because Restoration was used, so she was able to use the Golden Arrow again. Right. Uh, did Glorfindel just die here? I don't know, I don't see him anymore. How, how effective oh, well. is the Poison Stinger from uh, Gorkil the Goblin King against heroes? Uh, pretty good. Takes like more than half. Oh, nice. Watch is almost back up. Tom Bomber deal summon will be used too. Sunflare is available. Flood is all, almost available too. Arrow Volley. Look at the power points. They don't even fit in one line anymore. <laughs> all right. We will see now. I mean, the Goblin player is still like 775 command points, but he has only a couple of level 3 tunnels left, and that's it. Bombadillo. Oh, Glorfindel is not dead. He's bottom left. He was actually with the, with the calf all the time. Ah, okay. So he has Starlight Ability available. Did Elrond die? No, Elrond nope. died, right? No. Oh. Yeah, he's alive. Is Aldir is also alive. <gasps> Sauron! Dude! Oh my god. Sauron is on the field chat! <laughs> what the hell? I mean, it's the best hero he can buy now. Shelob and Drogoth would be useless, so... Dude, I mean, I mean, I like that. Now is the time. It, now we're talking. Fiesta, let's go. Look how badass he's moving. Oh, he used Sunflare first to kill the army, but it also cancelled the darkness that Sauron caused. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Against the power of mortal, there can be no victory. Where is he? Oh, he's moving, he's moving. But the thing is, he's moving like a grandma, you know? He's very, very slow. So, of course, imagine him being fast too, you know? But... Is over. Oh, he lost Elrond, by the, the way. He didn't get away. Of the orc has come. Boom. <laughs> One shot it. <laughs> Alright, Terrible Fury. And of course, the Fires of Doom, which is the main damage source. Glorfindel? Can Glorfindel fight him, though? With the Bleed of I Purity mean, when he is dismounted. He has to. He has to. Look, look. They don't They don't touch him, guys. They don't hurt him, the Slorian Warriors. Boom. Ah, Oh, but he's hitting very hard. Not that hard against heroes, but still very hard. He needs the end to is also helping, so throwing, stop, throwing rocks on him. I mean, this is a ring hero, guys. Watcher? How can you deal with that now? Where is Arvin? Let me show you. It's coming. Oh, the f there we go. Is Glorfinder gonna die? Yes, he's gone. Arvin? You know, maybe you need Elrond here, I don't know. Like, who is able to deal damage to him from Elven heroes? How much damage Tranduil. does Torn of Vengeance do, for example, from uh, Transwheel against him? Quite a... pretty good. But of course you need Transwheel and he doesn't have him, so... I see heavy armor, forge blades... Yes, Flood's available, by the way, still. Uh, but uh, yeah, like you said, I think Flat is not stealing too much damage to Sauron, right? No, no, that would be a complete waste. Yeah. And he's regenerating over time too. A ring hero, ladies and gentlemen. Malone 3 level 3 is going to be taken down unless he's going to use uh, Flat to save the day. Nah, she's not using it. That means it's going down and the Alvin player is dropping down to 6, 10 command points only. Elrond is needed and Glorfindel is needed too. And he needs finally also some Mirik Woods, you know? He, he's now stacking with the level 1 barracks for a really long time. And I believe the Silverton arrows on this Lorien Arches is kind of a waste. I mean. He's gonna lose why this not? game, right? I mean, I think Elrond player is gonna lose this game now. I cannot believe it. I think so. 
We come from Mirkwood. Safe game, please. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I got you, Talos. Worm summon underneath. I like that. You should just use Flood somewhere. Yeah. Just use Flood to get it on cooldown, I guess. He's going to use Foresight to get Vision. And Flood is incoming now. Or? Level 3 Fissure, I guess. Kill the production. Yeah. All right. Maybe he wants another Fortress kill. But I don't know if that's possible. It's not possible when uh, Eagles are on cooldown and Ends are on cooldown, I guess, right? Yeah. The Worm is doing a nice job. He's still remaining on the field. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Mirik Woods would have been a better choice. He has one Mirik Woods still around, though, for some reason. I don't know where this Mirik Woods... Uh, he has a Barracks actually behind. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's a level 2 Barracks behind. My bad, guys. I didn't. I couldn't see that Barracks. My bad. Okay, Sauron is recovering his full HP again, and he's gonna go again for attack. Just why not? <laughs> Look at them. Look at the design from Sauron here. I like this. The worm is gone, but the Alvin player is down to 385 command points. <laughs> like he has nothing left on the field anymore. Arvin is available. I think that's the only hero with Haldir, right? Yeah. Elrond gone. And also Glorfindel gone. No money and no command points to revive them either. That's gonna be our arrow volley missed. On top of the enemy half troll pikeman units. Uh, right. Is he gonna try to go for the fortress? That's the question. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Mirkwood's now hitting with Rallying Call and Haldir is diving in too much. They have even double buff now with Haldir being around, but it's not enough to hurt the Dark Lord himself. Boom! And Mirkwoods are being sent to the next map. Boom! Lorians are being sent to the next map. Blood, defensively. Okay, no yes. man can kill me. I mean, kill the units, but Sauron actually just laughing it off, you know? Laughing it off. Just, I mean, he can turn on them. <laughs> he can turn on them. Watch now. Pew! <laughs> Look. Pew! Look where they're flying. You see that? Or kill the Goblin King. Arvin. Arvin, come on. No. Sting. Arvin, you can't do that. I was gonna sting Haldir, maybe. Maybe, I wanna see that. That's gonna kill him, I think. I he's not going for I it. Can. Oh, we have a hero back in the business, and his name is Glorfindel, level 10. Um, Maybe he can do something. He's using Wind Rider. This guy is riding like the wind indeed. Look at him. Look at the movement speed from Glorfindel, though. Can he actually hurt Sauron? That's the question. Uh, he's pretty decent. But, there's but he needs to be dismounted and use Blade of Purity, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Look, Bombadillo is using a very long range Sonic Song, but Sauron is just getting off, you know, getting away. And next time he's gonna go again, he will have also the Reign of Fire. Or the Fires of Doom, sorry. The Fires of Doom, and also Balrog is available, and Summon Dragon is gonna be available at pretty much the same time. So, that means... You have Distraction from Fires of Doom, Distraction from Balrog, and Distraction from the Summon Dragon. And this, in combination, should be more than enough to finish off the album player. Let's hope so. Eagle Summon is ready. How much damage does Eagle do? To, probably no damage. Sting. Right? Oh, Poison Singer was Haldir used Haldir. against Haldir. And Haldir is going down. Yeah. Level 8, Gore kill the Goblin King. The Malone Gandalf, to... my old friend. This would be a night to remember. Okay. Yeah, indeed. That's a fantastic uh, experience to finally see Sauron. I didn't see Sauron in a in a league game before or in a, any tournament game. That's nice, and uh, he doesn't. I, I was expecting a bit to uh, to be honest, a bit more damage from the Mirkwoods against Sauron, but that's not being the case. Which is hopefully, which is like, which is something I'm absolutely okay with because Mirkus are already dealing damage to pretty much anything. They also they don't need to deal damage also to Sauron that much. Cloud break, Balrog summon, Eagle summon defensively against Sauron, but Sauron just doesn't care. Sauron just doesn't care. Look at him, flat everything, full commitment against him. Watch him, guys. Mm. Pretty good one. Sauron. And now it's your turn. <laughs> what? Dude, do you see that? We, we broke the game. Did you see what happened? Yeah. yeah spinning in the air. He's spinning in the air. <laughs> oh.
Oh my goodness. This is like the end of the campaign. <laughs> Look at this, Balrog Dragon. Ba <laughs> Look at this picture. Do you see that shit? This is unbelievable. You see eagles flying, fires of doom, Balrog Dragon next to each other. Sauron is doing his thing. You know how it is, you know. And the Elven player is Gunners. GG's, well played. A major of X was losing his fortress, but he was not only being able to revive his fortress, no, but the second he was able to revive the fortress, he was also recruiting Sauron, you know. Which was, of course, the best win condition for him. And he was able to win. And the score is 3-0 and Major of X is 1-0. Oh, oh, oh,